Fitness is important at any age, and we don't want our age to be a barrier to keeping fit. Sure, what we can achieve may change, but the end goal is still the same. Keep active and stay healthy. Tonight, I'm going to show you, no matter what age you're at, there's something for everyone. It's only natural that our fitness declines as we get older. The good news though, we can combat this by staying active and exercising as we get older. Let's look at the different stages that we go through and see what you can do no matter what your age. Let's all come together. Your 20s and 30s are prime time for fitness. You've got freedom, you've got lots of time, and your body will respond well to high intensity training. So set up those good habits now because they'll last you a lifetime. For a great high intensity workout, you do not need a lot of equipment. It's all about variety, and as I said, high intensity. The best thing about high intensity training is you get great bang for your buck. Well after your workout is finished, your metabolism will still be going strong. For your high intensity training, just take a normal move, but up the ante. Like these step ups, become explosive step ups. You find a bench or a step which you've got anywhere, and away you go. I love mixing up my running with some interval training. You've just got to find some stairs or a hill and push yourself for 10 to 30 seconds and it's a total game changer. Whether it's high intensity strength training or you're just getting your body moving in any way, it doesn't really matter. But in your 20s to 30s, you've got all of this time, so get yourself moving and set yourself up for life. But once we're in our 40s and 50s, we need to keep on exercising. And yep, I'm in that age bracket now too. And these are the foundational years that set us up for a healthy future and we need to stay moving, stay exercising to ward off chronic diseases. So if you're like me, make sure you get a cholesterol check from your doctor too. You keep that body moving, Great for your cardio fitness. It's great for your muscles. It's great for your bone density. And never underestimate how good it is from a social impact. Getting active with friends, awesome for your mental health. And don't forget the importance of a good warm up, a good cool down, and a stretch. Because at this age, That'll keep you going harder for longer. <laughs> Always remember in this age bracket to treat injuries quickly. If you feel a little niggle, get to your doctor or physio because that could be the difference between a quick, full recovery or a long-term injury that really impacts your lifestyle. Get out, get moving, be safe, be smart, and you'll feel the difference. When you get to retire after a long working life, you want to enjoy it. So if you're in your 60s or above, here's a few pointers to keep you active. The key here is to keep moving. Regular activity will boost your energy levels. Keep your bones strong and dense. Keep your muscles strong and limber and be great for your overall mental and physical health. I always focus on the four Bs. Breathe, bend. We want to do movements that keep us nice and loose, nice and limber, and stop our joints and muscles getting tight, and bands. These are a fantastic tool for resistance training to keep those muscles strong. Two of my favourite band exercises for the over 60s. You take your band and just put it in your feet, Nice, simple, balanced stance up to your shoulders and do a gentle overhead press. 
great thing about these bands is a constant resistance and you can control the movement nice and smooth. And then we've got a curl. Great for the biceps. Great for the grip strength. And you can do these two moves absolutely anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in your 20s or your 90s, there's always something you can do to keep fit. So get up and get moving today.